Deep ocean dark oxygen find could rewrite Earth's history. In a groundbreaking discovery, scientists have found that dark oxygen is being produced deep in the Pacific Ocean, challenging the traditional understanding that oxygen is primarily produced through photosynthesis. This discovery could potentially reshape our understanding of how life began on Earth and the conditions necessary for life to exist elsewhere in the universe. Discovery Details Location and Context The discovery was made in the Clarion Clipperton Zone, CCZ, an abyssal plain located between Hawaii and Mexico. This area, which lies 4 kilometers below the ocean surface, is covered with potato-shaped metallic nodules known as polymetallic nodules. These nodules are rich in metals such as cobalt, nickel, copper, and manganese, all essential for modern technology like batteries and renewable energy systems. Initial Observation Andrew Sweetman, from the Scottish Association for Marine Science SAMS, initially noticed unusual oxygen levels while conducting research on the ocean floor. Contrary to expectations, the oxygen levels increased in the complete darkness of the deep sea where no photosynthesis occurs. The researchers initially suspected equipment malfunction but later confirmed that the oxygen was being produced by the nodules themselves. Mechanism of Oxygen Production Electrochemical activity, the nodules exhibit significant electrochemical activity, similar to batteries. On the surface of these nodules, scientists recorded voltages almost equivalent to those in AA batteries. This electrical charge can split seawater into hydrogen and oxygen through a process known as seawater electrolysis. Geobatteries, the nodules act like geobatteries, generating electric currents strong enough to electrolyze seawater and produce oxygen. When multiple nodules are in contact, they work together to create sufficient voltage to drive this process. Implications Rethinking Earth's history, this discovery challenges the long-held belief that oxygen production on Earth began with photosynthetic organisms like cyanobacteria around 3 billion years ago. The presence of non-biological oxygen production suggests alternative pathways for the emergence of aerobic life. Potential for extraterrestrial life, the process observed in the ocean depths could also occur on other celestial bodies with similar conditions, such as Jupiter's moon Europa or Saturn's moon Enceladus. These findings suggest that oxygen-rich environments might exist elsewhere in the solar system, providing habitats where life could potentially exist. Impact on deep sea mining, the nodules are of significant commercial interest due to their metal content, which is crucial for modern technology. However, mining these nodules could disrupt the delicate ecosystems that rely on the oxygen they produce. The discovery raises environmental concerns about the potential impact of deep sea mining on marine life. Environmental Concerns and Future Research Impact on Marine Ecosystems More than 800 marine scientists have expressed concerns about the environmental risks associated with mining these nodules. The destruction of seafloor habitats could have unforeseen consequences on marine life, which might depend on the newly discovered oxygen production process. Call for further study The researchers emphasize the need for more detailed studies to understand the ecological role of these nodules and the potential consequences of disrupting them through mining activities. They advocate for environmentally responsible mining practices that consider the oxygen-producing capabilities of these nodules. The findings, published in the journal Nature Geoscience, underscore the importance of revisiting existing theories about Earth's oxygen supply and the potential for life in extreme environments. The study opens new avenues for exploring the origins of life on Earth and the possibility of life beyond our planet. Thanks for watching.